Hi, Greg here at the Caddis Fly Shop in Eugene, Oregon. Today we'll be tying a classic uh, turkey biot midge, effective pattern for trout throughout the world. Join me. I'm going to be tying this on a Gamagatsu J20 jig hook with uh, weight. I'm using, this is I believe called gunmetal black, um, but this is a slotted tungsten bead, 2.8 millimeter. And these are designed that fit very, very nicely over that 60 degree, 60 degree uh, bend in the hook. Uh, this is a very simple fly. I'm going to be using a black 140 Danville thread. The reason why I'm using this type of thread is um, it's very flossy and I want this body to be very smooth. And um, by simply rotating my bobbin counterclockwise, you can see it really makes um, this thread flossy. I hope you can see that on the camera. So I'm going to come back about halfway and I'm going to be using silver wire. Cool thing with this uh, particular midge is you can you can literally tie it in many different colors. I'm tying it in black today, but I would tie it in olive. I would tie it in brown. Um, and of course variations of those colors. So I'm gonna tie in my wire, and this is just small, size small, uh, silver wire. And then I'm gonna run it back up to the front because I'm slowly building a taper using my thread. Now I want that wire to be on the hook shank closest to me. And uh, the reason for that is when I begin to uh, wind that onto the hook, it's going to lay down on the butt much, much nicer. Yeah. I'm just using your classic turkey biot. Um, this is black. And I'm going to be tying this in today, tip first. Right onto the back. Run my thread up to about the point of the hook. I'm going to tie in my turkey biot right to the back. And these are very fragile, so just take your time. And then you're gonna run your thread back up towards the eye of the hook. And I'm building a slight taper. What I'm going to do in the front here is just kind of continue building my taper. So when I run my turkey biot, it's just nice and smooth. I'm gonna tie a half hitch here. That way, as I'm spinning my turkey biot and everything else, um, it doesn't come off. Grab your hackle pliers here and carefully just grab your turkey biot. These things break, break so simple, so easily. So just really take your time, very little pressure. Just get that started as close to the back or that butt as you can. Now as I wind this, I wound it with the curved side facing the hook. Oh, my hackle pliers just came off. What that does is it gives it a little fuzzy look. And of course it gives it the segmented look as well. Um, if you were to tie it in the opposite direction, it's going to give you a flatter segmented look to it. And I'm just running this all the way up to the front, like so. Tie that off with two or three turns. Cut that off. And then you're just going to take your wire and nice, evenly spaced wraps all the way to the front as well. turns there to lock that off. You can either cut off your wire or you can just snip it off. And what I like to do here is I take a little black eye stub. This is peacock black. I like it just because it has a little bit of that green color in there. And I'm just going to make a little collar. That's it. This fly is designed to be fished deep with the tungsten bead it's going to drop extremely quick so you will not need to use split shot hopefully that's kind of the the purpose of using tungsten is to avoid having to add additional weight to it 
so you uh, don't pin up as much or snag as much. And I'm just going to do a couple of um, whoops, half hitches. Excuse me. You can also do a four or five whip finish if you wanted to. I just oh, edit that out, I guess. But since I'm gluing it, I'm happy uh, just with a couple of half hitches. any little strands of ice stub that are too long just go ahead and clip those off now however I like this bug really buggy I put a little little bit of uh, head cement this is hard as holes just right there on the top of the tungsten bead it gets down onto my thread it locks it in and I like using glue on these because these are going to be on the bottom they're going to be tumbling and turning the entire time but there you go, there's your classic midge um, with the turkey biot. I hope that works for you.